back again, Paul. We're back again. Hello, how are you? I'm very good, how are you? Good. We just recorded a video two minutes ago, so this is the new one, and it's all about... Jamie Vardy. Well, or should I say England's number nine? England's number, number nine. nine. Well, absolutely fantastic. I was a wee bit worried about the lad, Phil. Um, because he was playing with that strapping on. Yeah. Would because I've this strap on. Listen, I've done that. I've, I've played with a, a broken wrist before, and even just pushing off defenders. Yeah. Oh, dear me, sore painkillers at half time, injections, and all that nonsense. But Jamie, and he got a bit of an injury late on in the game. You're just wondering. He came back on, took a clattering, didn't he? I know, but you're, you're just thinking, is it going to transpire? Because there's been lots of players picked for England get. Injured the Saturday before. Yeah. Now, I don't think Jamie Vardy, I think you, I think you'd, have, Jamie, to, you'd I have to pin him down to, for him not I to know, go. I think the boys made a granite. Yeah. Some of these players who go, oh, I've twisted or whatever. Or yeah, twi but the thing is with Jamie, though, as well, go. but he, goes, he can go down when he likes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he likes a wee tumble but, yeah, again. I can't, I can't remember him being particularly injured and anything. Oh. No. But I mean, anyway, he's on. in the England squad again. Danny Ings is in there as well. Yes. And. Uh, I me. think I sort of put it out to the punters, out, out to our supporters. I think, what, what do you want? Obviously, you're going to see Jamie. But if you try to be a wee bit, you know, less biased, uh, do you think Ings would be as good? I think Ings is maybe technically slightly better than Jamie. But in terms of pace and a goal threat and running in behind, Jamie hasn't beat hands down. Obviously, I'm going to go for Jamie to start the game. But I, like, I quite like... I would quite like to see him and Ings up the front together. I, th I think Roy Hodgson has got no choice in this matter now because I think if we England have qualified, yes. so now is a chance to look at some players. Well, he's had the chance and, he, and but, he's brought them back in again. Uh, yes, but what I'm saying is, is we're qualified. Jamie Vardy is not only the top scoring English player, he's the top scoring Premier League player, but with his seven goals. And if you look statistically back into the back end of last season, these statistics, he's statistics again. I know, but he's, we have all seen him. For me, he needs to play Vardy from the start, he needs to give him 90 minutes, and he needs to play Vardy where we all know Vardy should play. Yeah. And Because we know what Rooney can or can't do. Yes. And we know what. He didn't do a great like, deal. He yes, did nothing he did, really. yesterday against Arsenal. No. Nope. We know what people like Sterling and Sturridge can do. Yes. And that's hit and miss. That's what I'm saying. Let's see what play, the, the play, guy. Take, this two, take the two of them up front. And let's have yeah. a look. Well, I think Vardy's got to play. I think if Roy Hodgson doesn't, if he picks him and starts him, that's one thing. But if he puts him in the wrong place again, yeah. I think it's like, well, you're not really giving him a fair chance. He's, he's, he needs to be played as where he does for Leicester as a striker. Yeah. And let's he needs, see. He needs to be left alone. And give him a chance, yeah. And I Jamie, think both get out there. So you've got the number nine on. You might have seven on. You might have ten on. Doesn't matter. Go up there. Go out there in your white England shirt and play. Play the same way. Have a chat. I think when I got into the Scotland squad, Phil, I was I was in awe of yeah. a lot of players. There was Dennis Law, there was Joe Jordan, Kenny Dalgleish, Danny McGrain, Archie Gemmel, Kenny Burns, Frank yeah. Gray, Eddie Gray, John Robertson. And I'm like that, you know, scared to say anything. On reflection, because I was quite an ebullient character anyway, I should have just been myself. Yeah. You know, and, and said to them, you know, I'll oh, bugger off now, I'll oh, shut up, just give us a ball, whatever. Why well, get get the ball in the box earlier or give us a little and I and be myself. Yeah, and I think I think Jamie's got to do that. I think Jamie may be in the a lot of people have commented and said it didn't look like It didn't look like part of the clan. It didn't, no part of the team. It didn't you against know, San Marino. Absolutely. And but, that chance that he had that he squared across the box. Yeah. Should have I think for us, in. oh smash it back in the net, Jamie. And if Rooney turns around and tells you, give us a ear for Christ's sake, tell me sharp. And go, well, I won't swear. <laughs> right? But, but, but you have to be that now because you're in international now and you're moving up and people are watching you and you're going to be scrutinised mm. by the eyes of the nation, not just your club. So be yourself. Be yourself in the dressing room. Get yourself laughing and joking on that training pitch. And if you're not happy with players, in certain positions, not giving you the ball or whatever, tell them. Have a word. This is this is I think his third meet up with the England team. It so is. I think he will I think he will naturally start to be more relaxed. And the fact he's got seven goals and he is the top scorer. Well that, do, you know, do, I, do you know do you know if it was me, content. I'd be walking in going yeah. 
How many you got, Wayne? Morning, fella. <laughs> hey, one. hey, Wayne, how, how are you doing, son? Has Wayne even scored this season, Mr. Rooney? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Top scorer. Beat yeah. that, son. Well, if you want, it. listen, you lot, if you want a goal, just you know, give me the ball. I'll get it. So, I mean, for me, I think Roy Hodgson has got no choice. I think he, he has to play him. And for me, if he doesn't play him down that that, that central line, yeah. then he's, he's not really giving him a fair, a fair shout. I mean... I think the two of them are watching Ings as well uh, for Liverpool. Oh, look, what's coming here, Phil? <laughs> oh, it's, it's Owen. Where is this? It's Go Owen. He's just made the coffees. He's, he, look, <laughs> he's a veritable drinks machine. <laughs> By Christ, that's hot. Well, that's just my <laughs> Anyway, so, where was that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. When we were so rudely interrupted. We were saying that he's got to play. Uh, yeah, I watched things for Liverpool. And I like that. And I've seen him over the few seasons with Burnley as well. I like him too. I, I, if I, I would buy him. Right? Yes. So, to put him and, and Vardy up front together, I think that's kind of exciting me. Yeah. You know, they're both quick enough. I think, the, and with them both being in this sort of same situation, only just broke into the England team, yeah. I think that would work. Yeah. I really do. He's earned his place, so it'd be great to see how Jamie does in the two games that are coming up. Hopefully he'll get starts in both of them and given a real shout at it. And a couple of goals, Phil. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to see him couple score of a goal? Goals. I think that would be the icing on the We'd cake. We'd be dancing and singing in our kitchens that night, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, we really could be singing England's number nine if he did that. So, Good stuff. Good luck, Jamie. Thanks, Aaron. See you soon.